Good evening. Fireworks at the Fairfield School Board meeting tonight. With several residents calling for the resignation of two board members. Nine News reporter Bryce Onslinger is covering Butler Warren News now. He's in the newsroom with what happened. Bryce? Clyde and Carroll, one Fairfield school board member has already resigned after a campaign finance scandal was brought to light by the Butler County prosecutor. Many residents came to tonight's meeting demanding that two more board members step down. As a citizen, I ask, nay, I demand a higher standard of integrity for our public officials. Emotions ran high in Fairfield tonight as residents took the podium asking two of Fairfield school board members to resign. I can't tell you the contempt I have for anyone that tries to take advantage of me, thinks me stupid, or messes with the electoral process. The focus of the crowd's attention was on Dan Murray and Mark Morris. Many people stood up telling them they should resign like fellow board member Sharon Coe did last month. Her position was filled tonight by Don Nuss, who was appointed by the board. Coe stepped down in a deal with prosecutors after they found out her 2009 campaign was financed illegally. Prosecutors say Tom Burr financed Coe's campaign to ensure his company, Universal Transportation Services, would keep a major contract with the Fairfield School District. Burr pleaded guilty to attempted tampering with government records. Both Murray and Morris deny any wrongdoing, and both say they will not resign and claim the prosecutor has cleared them. Some tonight have asked me to resign from this board. I will not resign from this board. I was elected to represent this community, and that is what I'm going to do. And the easy thing to do would be to, to resign it, you're right. But what kind of demonstration for our kids is that? Because few people accuse you of something, which even the string on set, there's no evidence. Many people at the meeting also asked that Fairfield schools stop working with Universal Transportation Services. The board says they're talking with the district's legal counsel to review the contract with the company. Clyde? All right, Bryce, thanks for that report.